Jake Ludington here at HP Discover, and I'm talking to Sean, who's going to demonstrate the touchpad. Good afternoon. This is the HP touchpad. First thing you notice about the HP touchpad is that it's running WebOS. And the essence of WebOS is the ability to truly and simply multitask. So not only do we have multiple cards open in our card stack, can touch the card, open up full screen. If I flick up from the bottom, it minimizes the card. So I'm no longer caught between locking into a program, closing it, and then needing to reopen another one. If I can move between them, I can come launch my calendar. Once again, minimize it, toggle back, go to my inbox. This capability is further enhanced in email if I demonstrate opening a new draft. So if I create a new draft email, what you'll notice is that I actually brought up a new card. So we have a second draft here running independently from my inbox. So not only do I have this running separately, just like your computer does on your desktop, but I can actually reorder my cards. So I can take this draft email and restack it here and put it behind my calendar. So I can start grouping my work and my activities as I think about them and as I kind of work towards a productivity-based environment. Coming back to our email, you see our draft still behind the calendar. Bring it up full screen or bring up the keyboard. A few things you notice about the keyboard, and we always talk about three key capabilities. The first is the numbers line across the top enables you to have a one-view keyboard. The second key capability is the access to character accents. So if I hold down A, for example, I'll get my character accents for A, and the same thing applies with numbers if I hold down the number one, for example. The last trick we have with the keyboard is the ability to resize. So we're on a small setting right here, and if I touch, I can blow it up to go to a large setting. And this works on two angles. One is the ability to kind of customize the keyboard for any user, give you more real estate to type with have bigger keys. The other capability is as I'm typing, I can go to a smaller size keyboard and actually free up real estate and see what I'm typing. If we kind of toggle back out of the uh, draft email, you can see I can move back across. Right here, we're coming to a website. This is Yahoo Movies, powered by Adobe Flash. And we can actually watch a Flash-based streaming movie. So that's one key differentiator in the touchpad over like Apple's iPad is that there is flash capability baked in right out of the box. That's true. That is a key differentiator. The other thing to notice is almost everything that I've just shown you about multitasking, restacking cards, resizable keyboard and a one view keyboard is all unique to the HP touchpad too. So it's another huge level of differentiation right there. Yeah. So I mean, I know that um, in the various Android tablets, the iPad, um, if I want to send an email, basically I'm in that email until I save it and go back out to my inbox. And what you're showing here is that I can actually have both the email I'm trying to send and if there was like something I needed to scroll through in my inbox to find to include in that email, I could also do that as well. And you have the capability to work on multiple drafts, keep them open and save them and then reorganize and stack them as you need. So it truly is multitasking as opposed to while uh, there is task switching within both the Android and the iOS platform, you really have to like stop what you're doing, switch to another task, and, and what you're showing here is that you can have multiple tasks all going simultaneously. That's exactly right. And you know, when you come back to it for the HP touchpad, the tagline is it works like nothing else. And that's it right there. It's working like nothing else. It's enabling you to multitask and kind of organize and work with the device in a truly productive fashion like nothing else. So a few more capabilities to touch on quickly to kind of further articulate the difference in kind of the capabilities of the device. The HP system on WebOS is powered by HP Synergy. And what that enables you to do is when you pull in all of your accounts, those accounts get integrated on the operating system level and then rolled out per the application. We can actually host up to 16 exchange accounts, which is another differentiator of WebOS. But to demonstrate kind of HP Synergy, in the email, you notice I had two emails open or two email accounts. If I come to the calendar, we have five accounts open here, one of which is Facebook. Facebook being an account being operated and integrated on the OS level populates my calendar, but more importantly, if I minimize and scroll back across and I come back to my photo album, you'll notice my Facebook photos are actually feeding into my photo album. So in real time, I'm connected with my Facebook account, not through an application or logging in online. HP Synergy is allowing those photos to stream into my photo album. So if I come and I can access an album from my Facebook, open up those photos, and now I can scroll through. One of the capabilities you notice about Facebook and photos on Facebook is the ability to actually 
write and post comments and view comments. And those capabilities are integrated here into our photo album platform. So I can actually see if people commented on the photos that I have from Facebook. I can see that right at the operating system level in WebOS. Exactly right. Essentially, you have the capability to almost have a conversation or chat about a photo, leveraging the Facebook functionality to have comments. Without actually ever truly going to Facebook. Exactly right. And finally, it's great to always touch on and tell the full complete HP story. The HP touchpad comes print drivers installed. So if you notice an icon at the bottom, we have a little printer. And if I touch that, what happens, the touchpad will reach out and try and find any Wi-Fi or network enabled HP printer. And I'll find the device. You can see we found the printer right here. And then I have one touch push to print. And so that print capabilities works in photos for your Facebook photos. It also works in your email client. And it's also open to developers through an API. Now, you mentioned that it works with, um, did you said 16 Exchange accounts? Does it work with other email platforms other than Exchange? Exactly. It's open up to third party uh, platforms. So you can have your Gmail, Yahoo, AOL, anything you like. Excellent. So Citrix virtualization is something that um, a lot of businesses, um, both large and small, use for either remote assistance, for getting application work done that you need a, a fully featured desktop uh, to do. And Citrix is baked into WebOS? So Citrix is a third party application that you can purchase from the HP app catalog. So the HP touchpad is actually designed to work both at play, so all your games, all your applications, your Kindle, your music, but it's also designed to work at work. So we spoke about HP Synergy and the 16 exchange accounts. You also have your Citrix receivers and your VPN and VDI capabilities too. So it really enables you with that layer of security and professionalization to take the touchpad and deploy it in a work environment too. Um, to continue the story, something that's unique to WebOS is that it actually doesn't come with a desktop management solution. So what happens is the individual has a WebOS profile that's actually a cloud-hosted environment. So your touchpad dials into your profile that's in the cloud. Now because it's in the cloud, you can actually have multiple devices dialing into that one profile. So right here we have the HP touchpad, but we also have my HP Pre 3. And both of them are running off the same profile, connecting to the same environment up in the cloud. So what that means is all my information is synced, all of my accounts are the same, and all of my applications are shared between the device. But WebOS actually rewards you for having more than one device. So there are a few instances in which we've enabled that to happen. What you'll notice is if my cell phone rings through WebOS, I can actually have that phone call on my touchpad. So I can actually see that phone call come in on the touchpad and answer the call. Same works for SMS messages. So if I was to receive an SMS message on my HP Pre 3, I could see that message on my touchpad, open that message, and reply and send the message back. Does that have to have a phone radio included in the touchpad for that to work, or is that, does it do a handoff because they're in proximity to each other? So it's doing a handoff in proximity via Bluetooth, but you also need to securely connect them via the same WebOS platform or the same WebOS profile. Finally, to kind of take that sharing one step further, it's a system that we call Touch to Share, and its ability to actually transfer a program or an application or data from one device to another. So the demonstration that I can show you right here is to take this web page, which was Yahoo Movies, playing Flash, can have that open on the touchpad, and if I take my Pre 3, touch it to my touchpad, you notice a ripple effect go across the screen on the touchpad, and then the phone will load up that same program. So there are a number of usage case scenarios right here, like going out to a restaurant, you pull up directions on Google Maps, you're doing that on your touchpad, you run out the door, you take your phone, you touch your phone to your touchpad, that same program loads up with the instructions or your directions for the map, and you're out the door. That's awesome. I want that, I want that on every device. Yeah. So what happens at the end of the day, you really look at a platform or a family of devices that are truly wireless. The devices no longer need to be connected to the computer, so you remove that cable. The devices no longer need to be connected to each other to transfer information or to be synced. The devices no longer need to be connected to a cable to charge. So what we have here is a touchstone charger for the touchpad. I plug it in, or I drop it in top of the touchpad, sorry, the touchstone, and it charges. Same with the phone. I put so it onto so the so stand. You're me that as you set this on the stand, it's charging. It's charging. So if you place it, you'll notice we'll start charging. And finally, with the Bluetooth keyboard, I now have wireless input controls too. Excellent. Well, thanks for your time, Sean. My pleasure. Thank you.